One, two, three, one, one. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, another little baby child is born in the ghetto, and a mama cries. <laughs> No matter how hard you try and clean your teeth, the health of your teeth depends on the health of your gum tissue to keep them in place. 70% of people occasionally suffer from gum disease, also known as gingivitis. And what is gingivitis? Well, it sure sounds like a ginger-based, vitamin-suffused cocktail, but that's not the case. It's a way more fucked up situation, dude. It's a gum disease, most commonly caused by plaque, and it actually means inflammation of her gum tissue, or gingiva. Most common symptoms would be redness, bleeding, and tenderness of the gums. There are two types of gingivitis. Plucked-induced gingivitis and non-plucked-induced gingivitis. It's the early stage of a far greater problem. Periodontitis. And periodontitis means that the problems occur also in the supporting tissue, the bone, which can result in losing your teeth. So, how can we prevent gingivitis? Start with a good mouth hygiene. Brush your teeth at least twice a day. And make sure to clean those spaces between the teeth. These are the areas where gingivitis and periodontitis start. And don't forget to brush, brush, brush.